Hey guys, it's Melanie. Happy Tuesday. I didn't see you yesterday, so I hope you had a good weekend. Um, today and tomorrow, we are going to be tackling a couple of Worth the Splurge style videos. Um, these are videos that are specifically geared mostly towards skincare products that I have completely finished up. So finish the whole bottle. Um, and the reason that I like to do these types of videos is because skincare comes at a, a myriad of price points, right? Like you have the super affordable, like the ordinary and good molecules, and then you have the crazy high-end, like um, a more Pacific or uh, La Mer, like, lots of different price points, right? I feel like the vast majority of the skincare that I personally gravitate towards kind of is somewhere in between the two. So mostly like mid-range prices. That being said, um, I have tried some very expensive products. I have tried some really affordable products. I just, I really tend to have, I would say, the best experience with the products that are somewhere in the middle. I don't know what that says about me or my skin or you know it just it is what it is but I do still think that despite the fact that most of the products that I tend to gravitate towards are kind of in the mid price range um, they are they're still expensive you know um, a lot of these items would still be considered splurge worthy by a lot of people and what I like about these particular videos is that one, I have completely finished the product. So I feel like that gives me a really good sense of what it did for me, um, the, the effects that it had on my skin, the, um, the progress that I made or whether a product didn't help me along at all and it's just kind of like, I'm just using it to use it up. Um, and it gives me an opportunity to just tell you whether I would personally repurchase something, whether it was worth me splurging on or if a company sent it to me, whether I would repurchase it myself. Um, so that's really kind of the point of these videos is just talk about my experience, um, what I noticed, and if I'm going to repurchase it and if I would really recommend it to a friend. So um, there are two products that we're going to be talking about today and two more tomorrow. So I'm kind of dividing it up because my videos do tend to be a little bit longer. I'm I'm trying to rein that in, I promise you. In fact, I am re-recording this video because the first one, way too long. So I'm gonna try, I gave myself a script, so hopefully that keeps me on track. So the two products we are talking about today, and I will link them both down below so that you can go read up more about them yourself. Um, if you're interested in purchasing them, um, the information is down there. If you're not, whatever. I, I, I don't care what you guys buy. <laughs> this is really just my experience using these products and kind of my opinion. So we are talking about the 111 Skin Cryo ATP Sports Booster, which is not even an ounce. This is 0.68 fluid ounces, and this retails for $135. I did not pay $135 for this, just so you know. <laughs> it came in a skin store and uh, 111 Skin collaboration box. We'll get into that here in a second. The second product we're talking about today is the Pharmacy Filling Good Hyaluronic Acid Plumping Serum. So these are the two we're tackling today. We're gonna to start with the 111 Skin. So I originally received this particular bottle here from Skin Store. Um, they do send me a lot of their collaboration boxes to be able to share with you guys. And this was a collaboration box that I really enjoyed. In fact, I enjoyed the sample products that were in there so much, and I enjoyed this product initially so much that I bought a box myself. So um, I ordered it, paid for it with my own money, and I already have a backup of this product. That being said, um, I'm not sure that I <laughs> that I personally would purchase the $135 version. This is full size, and it was full size that came in the box. So. Honestly, the box was an incredible deal. If any of the skin store collaboration bags or boxes are still available right now, I'll put them in the description box down below. It's a wonderful way to try a myriad of products from sometimes specific brands and sometimes there's like just a, a collection of products that they put into, like for example, their expert's choice bag had a variety of products from Derma Doctor, Omorovisa, um, several others as well. So. 
I'll put those in the description box down below. Skin Store is nice enough to give me discount codes for you guys as well. Those discount codes are not any type of like commission thing. So those are just for you. So if you want to check out any of those boxes or bags, they're fantastic. And that's how I was introduced to this product. So let's talk about the claims of this product. We'll talk about the ingredients and then we'll talk about um, whether I'm going to repurchase going forward. Because like I said, $135 for less than an ounce. She's a spendy one. Um, my skin type, by the way, is uh, I like to focus on anti-aging products, but my biggest concern is that I have very oily skin. I deal with enlarged pores, and then obviously I like to focus on anti-aging. I'm gonna be 43 in November, so for me, focusing on anti-aging products is, I don't know, works for me, and I found some really great ones that way. So, um, so let's talk about uh, the claims of this product. So mimicking the effects of extreme cold on the skin, this booster contains a natural cellular energy, ATP, to encourage more oxygen for optimized cell function. Just a few drops of this highly charged formula will reignite lackluster skin, leaving it tightened, toned, and refined for an invigorated complexion. Perfect for use post-workout. This Obviously there's a dog in the room. I'm sorry, Alfie. You be a good boy. You be a good boy. Um, uh, perfect for use post workout. This booster will prolong freshness for enlivened and refreshed skin. So um, those those are the claims, right? Um, let's talk about the uh, kind of key ingredients in this formula. And it, sorry, I did have to write this down because I I don't I don't know my memory not the best. <laughs> in my forties, it's it's really going downhill. Uh, okay, so ATP is actually adenosine triphosphate, and this is an organic chemical that is a precursor to DNA. Um, so essentially, this provides uh, energy to fuel living cells. Another key ingredient in this formula is ribose, which is a sugar extract from corn, and this helps to stimulate the synthesis of the ATP, so they kind of work in conjunction together and increase the cell metabolic activity, which energizes the skin. Another key ingredient in here is yarrow. I actually grow yarrow in my yard. It's beautiful. Well, it's not the prettiest plant, but I don't know. I kind of like it. It's, it's unique looking. Google it. <laughs> uh, a bioresurfacing botanical extract that brightens and retexturizes and also accelerates uh, turnover of the skin cells. A couple of other ingredients in here that uh, I really like. Niacinamide, you guys know how I feel about niacinamide. Um, that definitely had the biggest impact on the size of my pores overall. Um, my preferred niacinamide is the Paula's Choice 20% niacinamide formula. I know that makes some of you just go, oh, how could you use that? It works great for my skin, so I use it. If, if you don't like 20% niacinamide, don't use it. There are much lower percentages. And um, in fact, Paula's Choice has a 10%. That's where I started. 10% didn't do anything for it, my nose pores, <laughs> but 20% did, so I use it. <laughs> also, there's some glycerin in this formula, which is really nice when it comes to just hydrating the skin a little bit as well. So um, the way that you use this is essentially right after cleansing, you use three drops. I want to stress that because at first I did not use three drops. I used way more and I went through this way faster than I should have. I think I was probably using the equivalent of like eight to nine drops, way too much. You really need only a tiny amount. Also, you need to remember to shake this up before you use it each time. And you just essentially press it into freshly cleansed skin. So wash your face before you do really anything else. If you use a toner, maybe use your toner first and then press that into the skin and then go in with this sports booster, right? So what I noticed for my skin is that it did immediately have an effect of tightening the look of my skin. Um, it definitely made the pores look a little bit smaller. Um, I don't really, I don't have a ton of wrinkles. And in full disclosure, I do get Xeomin on my forehead. Xeomin is a type of Botox. Botox is a brand, obviously. Xeomin is another brand. It doesn't have the accessory proteins. Look into it. It's... I really prefer the Xeomin. Um, but, so I do have that in my forehead and I have filler in my lips, just so you guys know. Everything else, this is all, this is just, just 
me, right? So I don't have a lot of fine lines and wrinkles around here. I think that is largely, thank you uh, to my oily skin. Um, that's the one thing that I do have going for me is that I feel like because my skin is so oily, it is aging a lot slower. The reason that I get the Botox up here is because I have oily skin and the makeup was collecting in the lines on my forehead. I don't have that problem anymore. It's glorious. If you're interested, it's it's really great. <laughs> I love not having to mop the makeup out of my forehead lines. But anyway, let's get back to this. The thing is that I feel like by the end of the day, my skin kind of looked, or after I washed my face at night, it just kind of went back to the way that it normally looks, which Honestly, to me, I really like the way that my skin looks right now. I have a very extensive skincare routine. You should know that if you are new here. I, I do a lot of stuff to my skin. I use a lot of devices, and I'm very dedicated to doing all of those things every single day. That is how I got my skin to where it is today. Is it perfect? No. But is it really freaking great compared to how it used to be? Yes. And I'm really proud of that. It does take a lot of time. It takes commitment. It takes effort. Um, and it has taken some money on my part to get it to this place, but it's been worth it to me. Um, so what does that mean for this though? So I really like this as a part of my morning routine because it really does seem to like help to smooth out my skin a little bit more. And maybe it was because I went through it so quickly that I haven't quite seen like the long-term effects of it yet. I'm glad I do have another bottle because I will bust it out. I will put it in the bathroom. It will be a part of my morning routine until that bottle's gone. That one should hopefully last me twice as long, if not longer than this one did, because I'm not going to be overusing this for the first half of it. Um, I don't know why I didn't think to look at the directions a little bit closer, but I just figured, you know, just the more the better. That is not the case with this. Do I think I will purchase another bottle after finishing the second one? I'm not sure yet. I'll have to see if those like tightening um, like aspects that I noticed stay beyond my like washing my face at night, if that makes sense. Um, I do think that maybe if you have a special occasion coming up and you have a skin type that is somewhat similar to me, this would be a nice thing to pick up for that and to use. Um, especially obviously leading up to the event the longer that you use a product the better ideally you can't really judge what a skincare item does unless you use it for anywhere from like seven to eight weeks sometimes even longer it just depends on what it is for example with tretinoin you really need to use it for like three to six months before you really start seeing like the ultimate benefits of it, right? Like skincare takes time. And I think that's why a lot of people get frustrated with it. I'm kind of going down a rabbit hole here, bear with me, but I think this is worth mentioning. Um, you cannot expect a skincare, a topical item that you put on your skin to change, completely change the way that your skin looks and behaves within a matter of a couple weeks. It's not gonna happen, guys. There are some skincare items, if you use them for six to eight weeks, you see a pretty dramatic decrease in hyperpigmentation, or maybe the size of your pores are really starting to shrink. Like, there's some nice things that you can notice, but long-term use is really where you're gonna see the benefits for all of your skincare stuff. So don't just use something for three weeks and be like, this is trash, you know? Give your stuff a chance. <laughs> now, the problem with that is obviously that sometimes that interferes with the return window and that varies vendor by vendor, right? Like Ulta has a return policy that is, I don't know, I think there's just like, is it 30 days? Sephora, 60 or nine? I, you have to look into that and then you have to kind of weigh, like, do I want to continue to use this and use it until it's all done and then decide, do I want to repurchase it or not? Or do you want to use it for three weeks? See maybe no results and then return it, but are you really giving it a fair shot at that point? Probably not. Anyway, am I gonna repurchase this? I'm still not 100% sure. Would I recommend it? I don't know that I necessarily would for the price point. I think this is very expensive. And honestly, if you are wanting to get this to improve the look of your pores, what I would really recommend are the Paula's Choice Niacinamide options. 10% is a great way to start out. 20% um, is if you have really stubborn and large pores and you've already used the 10% and you didn't see as much progress as you wanted to. 
try the 20%. I'll put links for those down below as well. Made a huge difference for me. Love it. I would say start there and then, I mean, it's worth a try if you can get it on sale. Listen, if you can get this for a really good deal, I think it's worth a try, but just shelling out under $35, I don't know. So, mm, yeah. <laughs> so I just, I don't want to recommend something crazy expensive that I didn't notice any like drastic changes from quite yet. I'll tell you what, I'll do another worth a splurge on this when I finish the second bottle. I mean, at the very least, you'll see it in my empties video in a few months. So there you go. All right, let's talk about this. Um, this particular product is from Pharmacy Beauty. I love Pharmacy. Um, they, uh, some of my favorite products from them are their Honey Potion Mask, which is glorious. If you've never tried it, I love it. Um, I do love their Halo Moisturizer. That is wonderful for me during the winter months. It's way too heavy for the spring and summer, but I do love that during the winter months. I love their um, Honeymoon Glow, their resurfacing serum. That's wonderful. And then also their, I think it's called their Honey Grail, their oil. Their oil's really nice too. So those are a few products from Pharmacy that I have used and really enjoyed. The mask, I've repurchased multiple times already. That's good stuff if you've never tried it. But let's talk about this. This is one of their newest products. Um, I was a, a, this was sent to me by Pharmacy, by the way, and I sat in on a master class with them where the scientists who created this formula um, talked about the formulation, why they put together what they did in the formula, how it works, all that jazz. So that was very interesting. Um, I really like doing stuff like that because I think it's super informative and um, yeah, I just, I found it fascinating. So let's talk about what their claims are, the key ingredients, and then what my experience was and if I'll repurchase it. A powerful skin plumbing serum and wrinkle filler. This micro filling formula is packed with next generation hyaluronic acid technology to hydrate the skin. Vegan uh, collagen peptides smooth uh, fine lines and wrinkles instantly. For each skin plumping serum bottle sold, we'll donate five meals to Feeding America. That is, I really love when companies do stuff like that. I don't know, that that's not a part of this review, but I, I do really like that pharmacy is doing that. Um, so um, basically, uh, let's go through the key ingredients here. Where are they at? All right, so they have a multi-molecular hyaluronic acid. So a full spectrum multi-molecular hyaluronic acid that penetrates the skin at different levels um, for maximum plumping and hydration instantly and then also long-term. Encapsulated thyme extract, a lipofilling encapsulated active that in a clinical study reduced smile lines and crow feet, crow's feet after just 60 days. Vegan collagen peptide, a fermentation derived collagen peptide that's shown to be 200 times more effective than marine collagen. Amino acids, which visibly firm and moisturize the skin for a radiant, youthful looking appearance. And then their proprietary honey blend, known for its soothing and humectant properties. Um, our pure raw honey is ultra hydrating and effective. Um, effectively delivers antioxidants amino acids into the skin i will say um by the way both products have a scent to them um the 111 skin does have a fragrance added fragrance phobes just stay away from this altogether my skin doesn't have a problem with the fragrance but i do recognize that a lot of people do have issues so do know that this does not contain any like synthetic or artificial um fragrances but this does have a scent to it and um it smells like thyme like the herb thyme and honey uh it's a bit strong i will admit and i'm not one who really has an issue with smells you guys know me um but this one does have a um it has a pretty noticeable scent to it i don't think it's a bad scent but i think it's a very unique scent do prepare yourself <laughs> what did i notice from this this is a wonderful, beautiful hydrator for me, you guys. Um, with my oily skin during the summer months, I prefer lighter hydration. This is perfect for me during the summer, which is the bulk of the time that I used it, spring into summer. I don't have, yeah, there's like nothing left in here. Sorry, I wish I could give you like more of a, like look at the texture than what I just did. But basically the formula is very lightweight. Um, it's not greasy, it absorbs very quickly. That's good for those of us with a greasier skin type. It really does plump and hydrate the skin very deeply. If you are someone who has a very dry skin type, you would probably want a moisturizer on top of this. The honey, like that, 
the Halo Honey Halo or Halo Honey. Gosh, I can't remember the name of it. It's in my bathroom. <laughs> but that particular moisturizer might be a good fit to pair with this if you need a little bit more moisture beyond what just this hyaluronic acid plumping serum can give you. I really do think that it plumped my skin beautifully. I think it helped it look more youthful. Um, and I think it gave me the hydration that I need for the summer months. So will I be repurchasing this? Yes, absolutely. But probably not until the start of next spring when I need my springtime moisturizer again. This is nice and lightweight. It absorbs very quickly. I enjoy the formula. I don't mind the smell. Um, and I think it really does a good job of helping my skin look as, uh, as hydrated as it possibly can. So I'm very happy with the way that this works with my skin type. Um, I can use it in the morning. Um, I'm a little less generous in terms of how much. So in the evening, I'll typically do like two pumps. Um, that honestly gets my face and most of my neck. Um, during the morning, I do more of like a half a pump and really kind of spread that out a little bit more um, lightly on my skin, but it's still enough moisture for me with my oily skin type. Um, I, I really like this product. I think it has worked well. Would I recommend it? Absolutely. But not for those of you that are very averse to any type of scent in your skincare. If you are that person, you're not gonna like this. But you may already know that about pharmacy. All of their products tend to have kind of this like honey fragrance note running throughout. Um, again, doesn't bother me, but you should know that. So for me, this is a definitely yes, total worth the splurge. I will repurchase this. This, I think I just need to, I need to use another bottle and use it less aggressively at first. So a little bit more sparingly, but we'll talk about that one again coming up. So tomorrow I have two more products for you. Um, so please subscribe if you're new, check out the links in the description box down below. Everything I mentioned will be down there. And let me know if you have any questions, if I forgot to address anything, comments down there. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Toodaloo!